Hey everyone, I'm Ken, a product manager at Rocky Mountain Bicycles. Today I'm going to walk you through the Ride 9 adjustment system, go over what it does and how to use it. The Ride 9 adjustment system was first introduced in 2013 and has remained a defining feature on our bikes since then. The technology ensures that every rider has the opportunity to fine tune their bike to fit their own personal riding style. At first, Ride 9 can seem complicated, but it's a simple and elegant way of offering a large range of geometry options in a compact form. Each side of the system is built around two interlocking chips that can be positioned in nine different ways. Each of the nine positions has a different effect on the bike's geometry and suspension kinematics. By adjusting the position of the chips, you're effectively changing the bottom bracket height as well as the head tube and seat tube angle. Position 5, or the middle position, is called the neutral position. This is our baseline for looking at geometry when designing the bike. If you place the chips in position 6 through 9, you're going to raise the bottom bracket and steepen both the head tube and the seat tube angles. This is ideal for people who are looking for fewer pedal strikes and a steeper seat tube angle to help with climbing. If you change the position of the chips from 1 through 4, you're going to lower the bottom bracket and slacken both the head tube and seat tube angles. This is ideal for people who are looking for increased stability at higher speeds. The Ride 9 adjustment system not only changes the bike's geometry, but also alters the bike's suspension. The suspension is most progressive in position 1 and least progressive in position 9. Increased progression can help with bottoming out the suspension, while decreased progression can deliver a softer ride throughout the range of travel. Adjusting the Ride 9 system is simple. All you need is a 4 and 5 mil Allen key and a torque wrench to ensure proper installation. Use the Allen keys to remove the bolts that hold the system together. Pre-assemble the drive side chips in the position you want, then insert the shock bolt into the chips. Next, insert the shock bolt through the Ride 9 pocket, in the link, and into the bearing eyelet. Push the drive side Ride 9 assembly and shock bolt all the way in. A slight repositioning of the shock within the link might be required to get everything lined up. These first steps are important to save yourself some frustration with aligning everything perfectly. Next, align the non-drive side chips in the same orientation as the drive side and insert them into the link. Pay attention that the chip positions are the same on both sides. From there, it's nearly good to go. You'll just want to torque the hardware to the correct spec of 8 Nm. Our Ride 9 system can really help you personalize your bike, so take some time to try out the different positions and see which one works for you. 